When we think of supermodels, in particular African supermodels, there is always one name that comes to mind and that is the beautiful Iman. But there was another person who started her career a few years after Iman. She is also from the same country as Iman and although they share some similarities, her story is very different, very inspiring and personally for me, she is my all-time favorite model. Her parents named her Waris, which means desert flower. Waris Terie was born in 1965 in Galkayo, Somalia, to a nomadic family. She was one of 12 children. At the age of five, Waris went through a traumatic experience, which is something a lot of African girls go through, unfortunately, and that is female circumcision, or commonly known as female genital mutilation, or just FGM in short. And if that wasn't bad enough, at the age of 13, her parents tried to marry her off to a man old enough to be her grandfather. Waris had no choice but to run away from home. She braved the harsh desert environment all the way to the capital city of Somalia, Mogadishu. She stayed there with some relatives and when she learned that her uncle, who was an ambassador in the UK, was looking for a maid, she convinced him that if he took her to London, she would work for him. Life in London was not easy for Waris. Apart from working for her uncle for a small pay, she took a job as a cleaner at McDonald's. On her free time, she took English courses as well. But her life would soon change when at the age of 18, Waris was discovered by a fashion photographer. Soon after, she posed for the famous British photographer Terence Donovan for the Pirelli calendar. But it was not easy for a black model to find work in London. So Waris realized that if she wanted a successful career, she had to move to New York. Soon after her arrival in New York, Waris was signed by Revlon. And her career took off after that. She became the face of many popular brands and the cover girl for all the top magazines. She even appeared in the James Bond movie, The Living Daylight, as a blonde. In 1995, the BBC made a documentary about her life, which was titled A Nomad in New York. Two years later, Waris opened up to Maria Claire magazine about her story of female genital mutilation, or FGM, which brought worldwide attention to the issue. Not long after that interview, Waris became an advocate against FGM and she was later appointed as the UN Goodwill Ambassador in the fight against FGM by then UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. In 2009, a film was made about Waris, which was titled Desert Flower. It was based on her best-selling autobiography of the same title, and Waris was played by fellow African supermodel, the beautiful Leah Kabede. In 2002, she founded the Waris Tiri Foundation, which was established to fight the practice of FGM and help its victims. One of the people that Waris personally helped was the little girl who played young Waris in the film Desert Flower. Her name is Safa Idris Noor and she was from Djibouti, a country that practiced FGM. When Waris signed little Safa for the movie Desert Flower, she had made her parents sign an agreement that the little girl will never be forced to undergo the practice of FGM. The Waris Diri Foundation was later renamed the Desert Flower Foundation and was expanded to include building of schools for children, advocating for gender equality, helping rural women establish their business, job opportunities, and many more things. Waris Diri has won many humanitarian awards for her work, including from various European leaders from South Korea, from the Catholic Church, and many others. In 2004, Waris had a frightening encounter with a stalker when a Portuguese man followed her 1,000 miles across Europe, breaking into her apartment and attacking her, and then leaving in a taxi only to return later and break her one of her building windows at which point the neighbors called the police and thankfully he was arrested 
Boris Diri currently lives in Poland with her two sons. She continues her humanitarian work as she's done for decades. She's changed many lives. She's a hero and an inspiration to many, including myself. She is, in my opinion, a definition of true beauty. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.